Dear friends, my name is Dr. Gaurav Agrawal. I am a pediatric cardiologist working in Delhi. Today I will discuss in brief about the bicuspid or unicuspid aortic valve. There is a vessel that arises from lower chamber of the heart known as the aorta as shown in this picture. It is having a valve at its origin known as the aortic valve. Normally this valve is shaped like a Mercedes car is having logo as shown in this picture. But in some cases it can be in the form of either bicuspid instead of three leaflets there will be two leaflets or sometimes it can be rarely is having two leaflets. These are known as the bicuspid or unicuspid aortic valve respectively. This is the most common form of congenital heart defect or some form of CSD in pediatric age group. After that another common is the ventricular septal defect. This bicuspid or unicuspid aortic valve can be associated with hole in the heart known as ventricular septal defect or can be in the form of obstruction in this own vessel known as aorta uh, can be in the form of coarctation of aorta as shown in this picture. Bicuspid aortic valve is more common in boys as compared to the girls and in 80% of the cases it is generally associated with coarctation of aorta. Now question comes what can be the symptoms due to bicuspid aortic valve. Bicuspid aortic valve or unicuspid aortic valve has the tendency of either blockage or can be in the form of leakage. Blockage is known as the aortic valve stenosis or leakage is known as the aortic valve regurgitation. First of all I will discuss in brief about the aortic valve stenosis symptoms. It depends on the severity whether it is mild, moderate or severe. If it is mild, patient will be asymptomatic. How will come to know that child is having some form of heart issue? Whenever you go to your local pediatrician for routine checkup, he will auscultate here. There is some sound on the heart. Then he will refer to the local pediatric cardiologist. He will do the echo study and will let, let us know that child is having some form of aortic valve issue. If the child is having severe form of aortic valve stenosis, the, the earliest symptom will be easy tiredness as compared to his or her peer groups. Followed by chest pain on exertion, sometimes syncope when there is loss of consciousness on exertion due to low cardiac output and less blood supply to the brain and in last when the heart fails if not treated at proper time the heart will fail and can lead to difficulty in breathing. Sometimes when the newborn is delivered, it is in the form of critical aortic valve stenosis, then the newborn will be in the form of, uh, then the newborn will present in shock-like state, will not have good urine output or very no urine output, will have low blood supply to the body parts and uh, the newborn can go directly on the ventilatory support and we have to intervene as early as possible in this circumstances. In case of aortic valve regurgitation, it also depends on the severity of the aortic valve regurgitation, whether it is mild or moderate or severe. In mild, you will not find any issue with the child except some abnormal sound on the chest by a local pediatrician. In case of severe, depending on the dilatation of the left ventricle, uh, it will show some form of easy fatigue and sometimes in the form of difficulty in breathing. Now, how can we diagnose this aortic valve issue? As I told you, best method is to do echocardiography. Echocardiography is the ultrasound of the heart is known as the echocardiography. This has to be done from the chest of the baby and we can diagnose almost every case of aortic valve issues with the echocardiography. Rarely we have to go for the CT or MRI just to find out aortic well pathology. Now what is the treatment of this bicuspid or unicuspid aortic valve? Suppose if the child is having severe form of aortic valve stenosis, especially in the newborn or in any age group, then we have to open this valve. For opening this valve, we have two options. One option is to do the open heart surgery, but it is not desirable nowadays. We can open this valve by using angiographic technique from in which we use the thigh vessels and we enter into the heart. We use a balloon uh, as shown in this picture. We inflate this balloon across this valve and we can open this valve nicely by using a balloon without open heart surgery. Remember, by using balloon we cannot 
correct the valve pathology. We just can open the valve. The bicuspid or unicuspid valve cannot be like tricuspid normal valve. Just we can treat the issue but we cannot correct the pathology. In case of aortic valve regurgitation, what is the treatment? It depends on the severity. Again, if it is severe, then we have to repair the valve in early childhood. If suppose if the child is uh, more than 8 to 10 years old, then we have to either to repair the valve or we have to replace the valve. Both can be done only by open heart surgery. But in case of older age group like ad late adolescent or adult, we can replace the valve by using angiographic technique. Again, from using by using the thigh vessels, we can replace the valve angiographically. The message from this video should be that bicuspid aortic valve can be treated and parents need not to be panicky. Thank you very much. For more detail, you can log into my website childrenheartcare.com.